what is going on crypto peeps welcome back to the traveling crypto happy friday to you guys looking at the markets we are currently at 131 bill on the market cap volume better than yesterday 15.3 bill what the hell just happened um, I don't know why this disappeared. My page just refreshed for some reason. But anyway, uh, volume a little better than, than we had yesterday. You do see a little bit of green over the last hour and 24 hours. Ethereum continuing to kill it up 13.5% uh, over the last week. We did send out a trade alert for Ethereum and Ethereum continues to kill it, moving above and confirming the cup and handle pattern that we see here, which is either a continuation pattern or a reversal in a downtrend and it looks like these moves are accompanied by good volume or decent volume we should say uh you know you see the volume hitting the moving average the 20 period moving average this is on the four hour chart so as long as we hit this orange line or cross above it with green volume this rally should continue again keep your eyes peeled for those trade alerts if you want access link is in the description we are currently at 154 dollars our long-term target for ethereum is at around 200 dollars obviously we need a lot more volume to get there but that is the long-term target or mid to long-term target i should say looking at bitcoin here is bitcoin on the one month chart a couple of things i wanted to point out which is the reason that i brought this one month chart up uh, apart from the fact that we are oversold on the stochastic rsi in the one month which the last time we saw that was back in 2015 obviously preceding the legendary bull run that that we saw that carried over you know towards the end of 2017 we see here the 50 month moving average we are bouncing off of that so that is currently our support our strong support we did touch it back at the end of 2015 we came close during the end of 2018 but it is currently still our support the one other thing i wanted to point out on the monthly chart this is the worst performing five month period that bitcoin has ever had according to the data that is available to us so if you look at the last five months before january here you had uh, december november october september and august and you'll see here that these are five red months we've never seen five red months according to the bitstamp data that is available on trading view we've seen a couple of four red months not five so this is the worst performing five month period ever on bitcoin the good long-term news obviously is that in order for us to see a historic bull run there has to be a massive correction now we could see a break for instance a green month and then you know some further red months uh that supersede that however keep in mind that we do need periods of low volatility as well as decline if we're ever going to see a massive bull run again um, and you could see that that pattern repeating itself in history obviously bitcoin is a very young market but you could see that repeating in, in traditional markets as well that have a lot more data looking at bitcoins one week a couple of things to point out here this is the 200 week moving average the yellow line obviously using that as support we are bouncing off of that the 0.236 fib level currently is where we see some resistance at around 38.88 we need to break above the 0.236 fib level in order to see any sort of rally the next level up is around 4300 obviously there is a level between that at the psychological barrier of 4000 and on the weekly we've talked about this before but we are oversold or have seen recently seen oversold on the stochastic rsi as well as the rsi any time in history that's happened we've rallied at least 40 percent thereafter so we do expect to see a rally as long as the volume comes in and it doesn't need to be drastic volume but we do need to have some buy volume come in we can see a rally up to this 0.382 fib level of 4300 within the next few months looking at btc on the daily you see that we are forming a reverse head and shoulders or inverse head and shoulders however don't make the mistake uh, by saying that you know there, this is for sure a reverse head and shoulders because the pattern itself has to be confirmed by a break above the neckline just because something looks like an inverse head and shoulders does not mean that that pattern is confirmed uh, and you could see it here we do need a break above the neckline 
the inverse head and shoulders for that pattern to be confirmed otherwise it is just a pattern in motion and you know nothing that that is uh set in stone yet so we do need a break above this neckline that you see here for this pattern to be confirmed we can obviously decline further and continue or continue sideways without breaking above the neckline now according to the volume that we see here on the daily which is pretty weak it uh, doesn't look like we're going to get any significant moves up so this could eventually be a failing pattern Pattern, and we could get a period of a longer period of, of sideways trading like for instance you know this pattern if if not confirmed this could easily just be a sideways channel right so if you see here you would have your resistance and here you would have your support and you could easily just bounce in between this channel for a long time in the same way that we did between September and November. So don't fall into the trap of predetermining patterns just for the sake of, of doing it or just because you have some sort of confirmation bias. Be malleable with your pattern identification and with your technical analysis. Be malleable, but be objective as well. So this could either be an inverse head and shoulders, if not confirmed, easily could turn into a period of just sideways trading. A couple of other Alts to note, TRX, we did send out a trade alert for TRX at the break of this cup and handle pattern on the four hour. Again, access to the trade alerts link is in the description. All trade alerts will be sent on the Discord as you see here. These are some of the older trade alerts, so I don't mind showing them to you, but all trade alerts will be sent here on the Discord. So if you want access to those, sign up for those link is in the description uh the other one that we sent out a long-term trade alert for and is looking really nice playing out really nice for us is bnb bnb you see has been on a tear since the beginning of december after the sharp decline has been on a steady incline in this ascending channel pattern respecting for the most part except for this little blip here at the end of, of december respecting for the most part the support and resistance of this ascending channel moving on to the traditional markets you'll see the dow jones industrial average right here looking like crypto all of a sudden uh you know losing 500 points yesterday gaining 500 points today back you know december 26th the day after christmas again a thousand points in one day so it is looking really volatile currently and i think it's because traders everywhere are really expecting to see a a decline uh, soon, right? Like a market crash or at least a market correction soon enough. And so there is this period of panic buying and panic selling and this overreaction to certain news uh, cycles or certain news stories in, in the traditional market. So these things aren't just for those of you that aren't familiar with traditional markets, those things are not just isolated to the crypto market. You They can, irrational reaction to news can and does happen all the time in the traditional markets as well. The, the S&P 500, funny, following almost exactly to the T, the chart pattern of the Dow Jones. If you look here, this is the Dow Jones, this is the S&P. If you remove the label and the numbers here on the side, you would struggle to identify which is which, right? So you do see them following each other neck and neck. Uh, the reason that we did see a 500 point incline today, according to market analysts, is because of the jobs data. Apparently, you know, there was a, a certain number of jobs that uh, that were expected, 182,000, as you see here. And according to the jobs report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, it said that we created 312,000. So a little under double the number of jobs that, that, that was expected. So that is good, I guess, for the, uh, for the American economy, for the job market. Um, and then, you know, that caused panic like buying in, in the stock market, as you see this article highlighting here, as well as the fact that the Fed Chairman Powell, uh, you know, that the Fed was expected to increase rates, but he basically said that the Fed will be flexible in terms terms of their rate hikes or uh, rate cuts and not really stick to a, a certain plan or a certain expected plan as economists had projected. One other news story that I wanted to close off with was this article on Bloomberg talking about, funny enough, of, uh, of all things, talking about a DX exchange, which is an Ethereum-based exchange. And this exchange is, it's a pretty innovative and I think creative way of, uh, of of trading, right? So they're basically, the DX exchange is going to create 
tokenized securities based on or backed by actual shares of companies such as Tesla or Amazon or Apple, where you know th there are shares that that is a certain uh, security company holds called MPS, Marketplace Security. So they hold shares of Amazon, Apple. Um, I think 10 companies so far, 10 NASDAQ listed companies. And they are they are basically an Ethereum based exchange. They're going to tokenize these shares, right? So they're going to create tokens that are backed by these shares and will allow investors and traders to buy on a 24 hour market in the same way that, that crypto is a 24 hour market by tokens based off of these shares. So not only will this turn, uh, you know, will this offer derivatives, crypto based derivatives of stock market shares, but it will also create a 24 hour market for stock based uh, assets or stock based derivatives, as well as allow traders to break off um, shares of stocks in the same way that you can buy decimal points of Bitcoin or decimal points of Ethereum, right? You'll be able to, to basically by tokenizing these shares, you'll be able to buy, you know, decimal points of say a Facebook share or a, an, an Apple share, right? Another advantage is it will allow foreign investors the ability to buy and sell U.S. stocks, something that you can only do if you have access to U.S. based exchanges. So that is really that that's a really interesting use case. And I think, uh, you know, something that uh, that the, the crypto, the, the crypto community or the crypto market actually created like this idea of tokenizing shares and offering them up on on a digital exchange. This would not have uh, been been spawned if it were not for the crypto market. So great real life crypto based use case or blockchain based use case. This is apparently opening next week. So I will definitely be keeping tabs on this and following this news story and seeing how this does in the open market. Again, the company is called DX.exchange. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That is it for this news story. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment. If you have a question, a comment, agreement, disagreement, sign up for the trade alerts. Link is in the description. Those will be sent out on the Discord. If you want access to the free Discord, that link is also in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell. Stay safe out there. Peace.